So today we uh, today we're installing the obelisk. It's about 14 feet tall. Probably when it's all together, it's probably going to be about 17 to 18 feet tall. And this is a, a piece that basically dis depicts the, the community and um, just another celebration piece for the community of uh, Southfield. Yeah, so the process is that we had to fire a lot of clay tiles and then, uh, um, well basically we started off with a slab of, uh, slab of clay and then we cut each uh, slab of clay by hand while the clay is still wet to create the shapes. Once the shapes are done, then we had to bis fire it and then we, uh, we glazed it. So it took a lot of hundreds of hours to do, to do those shots. So the obelisk right here basically tells the story of uh, Southfield. From, uh, there's a hand on there that holds a flame and the flame represents a Native American because uh, they're the keeper of the flame, right? And then we have, uh, uh, the stories are told all the way to even the, the uh, farmhouse that's up on uh, Evergreen. Um, and then there's hands that's up on there that shows the different uh, cultures that live in this community. Yeah, so the other piece I did in uh, Southfield was the uh, Lawrence Tech piece. There's six monoliths that I did that's created with tiles, and I work with the community and all. Uh, but uh, also done some pieces in the city of Detroit. There's like 17 monumental pieces in the city of Detroit that I've created. It's just the, the logistics and, and the process of being able to create a monumental piece like this. Um, and, I, and I always want to share this with artists and all. Sometimes we just have to think outside the box. It's a bigger picture when you're doing art. It's not just sitting at an easel, but it's also thinking about how can you do something that's going to be impactful in front of a community that's going to last for years, you know, and that's one of the things that I wanted to do. I just wanted to tell the story of uh, Southfield and their community, celebrate this beautiful community and all uh, with a piece of artwork that's going to be around for a long time. Well, um, this is um, a piece by a uh, famed uh, Detroit-based uh, uh, sculptor, uh, muralist, um, uh, he does fresco painting, um, multi-talented Hubert Massey, Dr. Hubert Massey. Uh, I met Hubert several years ago. I, I was enthralled with his, his talent, his creations, and I wanted him to come to Southfield. We've been working on this project for three years. Um, this is fully funded by the Friends of Southfield Public Art. This is uh, not being um, paid for with tax dollars. This is a, um, a donor-supported piece of art. We're very grateful for uh, the neighborhood next door here, uh, Beacon Square, who said, yes, come. Uh, and Evergreen Trails, uh, a little farther down, uh, 11 mile here, um, who embraced this. Uh, peace on the edge of their neighborhoods um, and you know I'm on a mission to spread art throughout the city so here we are today well um, an obelisk like uh, the George Washington Monument um, has been a shape throughout uh, history um, and when uh, Hubert and I got together about the creation of, of this and commissioning him this is what we envisioned, and something bold, uh, big, visible, um, and uh, we're just very, very, very pleased with how it's come out. Uh, it's a landmark piece, very obviously. Um, this was just a grassy strip. I'm all for green space, but there's nothing wrong with adding a little art to green space. It makes it a little more interesting. Um, Pretty much, you know, we have the freeway over here um, and quite a few trees, um, but this is in a great location as you can see it as you come uh, west on 11 mile or as you go east on 11 mile. Just once again, we're very grateful to the donors who 
uh, support public art in Southfield. Uh, it enriches our community, it makes our community more vibrant. And art is also an economic driver. And I think it's fine if this piece doesn't appeal to you, although I love it. Um, that's the beauty of art. Um, it evokes emotion and reaction, and you don't have to like it, or you can love it a lot.